really does settle you down. Dennis to Rovers. Well, a 13 darter there Game from on. Dennis Ovens, and uh, already turning up the heat. Looking now to open up a two-leg advantage immediately. Uh, interesting, I mentioned Ian Poulter, actually from Stevenage. Ian Poulter prizes Dennis Ovens. And I have it on good authority, the great Lewis Hamilton. So, uh, for a town that isn't the biggest in the land, you've got some pretty hot sporting heroes there. 54. Well, there's one thing, Peter won't be able to slow Dennis down. There's nothing you can do. Tactically, will upset Dennis. He just plays his own game. Doesn't care about the opponent. As he fills this up, will be the first 180 of the match in the second leg. Oh, oh, is he ready, ready for this, Mr. Hey, yes, yes. 140. Manly, though, the sort of character who's unperturbed, just gets on with it, Rod. Well, the one thing about Peter Manley is he takes chances. He knows and admits that he's not the best scorer in the game. But he really he got his name one dart because he just takes chances all the time and you can't let him 100. off. You know, you get in front of him and there's Dennis's son. Michael. And uh, his greatest supporter. Needless to say, you would have expected that, wouldn't you? 100. I thought Dennis my dad was the greatest cricketer in the world when I was young. He was far from it, but... What's wrong with that? Well, Dennis's son, a fine snooker player himself, several ton plus breaks. But uh, Dennis is just cleaning this up, as we say. One hundred and done that very seven. well. Long way off that second one there, but uh, that's that's manly. That sums him up Dennis in a way. He puts one way up nearer the double than the treble, and then still finds the treble with the third dart. A dangerous player, Peter Manley. But this man Ovens, if he can hit this double six, oh, double one he needs. That is a bad dart. Now he's well. He's got to get it, really. Got to go for it. He can't burst this and then hope that Manley doesn't no take score. out 107. As it is, Peter he has burst it. If Manley takes this out, Rod, he'll deserve it. Yeah, it's a bit silly there from Dennis. But he's still got to hit a treble. So Dennis is going to come back. I'll tell you what, John. Now Dennis is glad that he hit the one and didn't shoot the dart above the double one. 67. Absolutely. Absolutely. Dennis it's amazing, 24. the two doubles, double 12, double one, exactly the same size, but my, 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 much, much, much rather be going for this one. Now then, a little further down, not that far, but this is the reason why, he's not first his score, goes across for double six. Well, well you were saying it's always nice when that first Peter dart goes in, you hit it first time, he did with the double 16 previous leg, great marker that. Oh, fancied it, but no, double ten. Yeah, double ten, one a piece, Manley gets back, jumped up, up. Uh, when you break your opponent, Robert. the worst thing to do is to give Game it straight on. back. You know, Dennis had six darts to go two nil up, and he's let Peter Manley back in, and we'd say it every time we see Peter Manley on TV. You mustn't give the guy chances, because he takes them. Well, to illustrate really what we were saying earlier about Dennis Sovens, that he's an ever present here since he made his debut uh, in 2000. This is his ninth appearance at the match play, but he's never got past the second round. And for a player of his quality, that is 60. a little surprising. Played some wonderful games on that stage over the years, one or two forgettable ones, but. Uh, some that were rather unforgettable. At 14-12, we just one saw him there's his second one, 80. Maybe he can break again, regain the advantage. 
That 14-12 we've just witnessed, Rod, reminds one of the 14-12 that this fellow fought out against John Lowe six years ago. It was a second round match. He lost 14-12 to John Lowe, and it was very similar to the one we've just seen. Backwards and forwards, darts at the double to win the game, and uh, they didn't go in, and in the end, old Lobo, I'm sure he's watching this somewhere, will no doubt recall it with some happiness. But not this fella. Now, what a cracking game that was between Hamilton and Van Gerwen. Yeah. Van Gerwen keeps promising to, to do something on the big stage, but he keeps missing doubles. Uh, but this time, he got the all-important winning double as Peter Manley fills it up for his first 180 of the game. Well, when this is over, I'll just discuss with you one moment from that previous game, if I may, which I think is pertinent as he's looking now at bullseye for 2-1 against the throw what a big bull this could be 105 so manly 84 PD to go ahead 84. for the first time in the match early days yes great first start and a great yeah, second yeah. dart as well yeah. and that's why they call him one dart Dennis had a dart on the bullseye peter manley we see that double yeah. 12 go in and that is do you know, a lot of players would love to buy Peter Manley's checkouts. You get the heavy scorers in the game that keep letting people off. If you had the percentage that Peter Manley hits that double, there'd be a few more, a few more names on the big trophies. Yes, yes, that was classical, wasn't it? Treble 20, double 12, picked up. Picked off like shelling cues. 100. Sorry, I often get my P's and Q's mixed up, Rob. 2-1 to Manley, Ovens with the throw. Really ought to have taken the second leg. So often, perhaps, that's why he doesn't win when, perhaps, one might expect he ought to. 26. Games like that one I was describing with John Lowe and similar sort of games that he's had over the years. Easy. Well, you see Peter Manley, he's come in there and he's hit the stem. There's four little prongs on that stem. And he's just caught right in on one of them. It's unfortunate, and sometimes, well, a lot of times, that will cost you the leg. Yes, it was just a slightly overweighted dart, wasn't it? Uh, there was room for it, seven. tucking underneath that previous dart, but uh, just a little overpitched. That's underpitched for certain. That's not. Oh, good stuff. That's what I mean, Rod. He can throw one very bad dart. Others will sometimes stop and have a, a look at it. He just planted those two absolutely perfectly. Yeah, I think that's, that's mainly down to his stance, John. He does move a lot. His body moves a lot. Where you see Dennis Ovens here, you know, oh, the only thing to move is Dennis's arm. But Peter does wow. lurch forward with his uh, body. His back foot comes off the ground, and I think that's why he throws so many wild darts. Yes, it's something we've emphasised on occasions in the past, the movement of that back foot, but I that put it down to the fact that his centre of gravity is such that it's necessary for balance. safe ton but it may not be enough as Manley looks for a ton of his own via a different route two double tops coming up I had a go at it thought he would 60 can't blame him Dennis there Rod. you've done it yourself haven't you? absolutely John the, that's the percentage shot that's the right shot to do Andy Hamilton did it earlier on my god you don't see that very often he missed a huge big 17 now this is a crucial shot 17. How did he miss that? That's unbelievable. It may be a little bit of uh, sweat Three on the hands, a bit yeah. of aquaplaning. Could have cost him the leg. As Manley looks to hit the double ten. He's done it once already in this match. Yeah, done it again. Manley opens Peter up Manley. a two-leg lead. 